Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to talk about what's the best way to motivate your child. Now, if you want to know more about how can you mot to how can you encourage your child to learn Chinese or English in a more effective way, then please subscribe to my channel. So today, we will talk about what's the best way to motivate your child. And based on the literature, we know that there are two ways for motivation. One is external, and the other one is internal motivation. A lot of teachers and parents like to use external motivation, so this can be money or、uh, ranking. So the parent or the mom might say to the child, "Hey, if you tidy up your room today, then I'm gonna give you five dollars." Or if you can score a hundred for for this dictation, then I'm gonna give you five dollars. Now. The I understand why a lot of parents and teachers like to use external motivation because it's a very simple way to use, and when you think about it, then you can just use it. It's very simple, but there are actually two main issues when it comes to external motivation, and the first one is that once your child start to calculate the opportunity costs. Then this method might not be that effective.、So、let me give you an example. I actually have a friend who would say to her child that, "Oh, a son, if you tidy up your room today, then I'm gonna give you five dollars." But as the son grew up, the son actually was thinking that, "Well, mom, it doesn't seem to be that. It, it doesn't really seem worth it to." Tidying up the room to just get five dollars. So you see, when your child get to the point when they can think about opportunity cost and how much do they actually get, then this method doesn't seems to work. And I guess the second issue is actually the main issue why I don't encourage parents to use external motivation, is the fact that. Some studies already show that、um, when you try, when you use external motivation to encourage your child, their engagement actually reduces. So what we means is that yes, the child might do the task, they might complete the task, but we are, but their engagement actually reduces. So it's still better than nothing. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't use external motivation at all. By all means, if you, if you, if if that's the only way that your child would do it, then then that's fine. But it might also worth considering using internal motivation instead. And now let's talk about internal motivation. So for internal motivation, what we are talking about is that if we can think about what's the dream, what's the interest of your child, and if we can link that to the task that you want them to do, and if you link the two of them, you will find that it's much easier to encourage your child. Rather than just through external motivation. So let me give you two examples here. So in our team, so in the workplace that I'm working, which is the Coventry, the Coventry University Literacy Team, what we are doing now is is the fact that in in England you can see we have an issue where a lot of the boys in England we we can see that they don't have that much motivation to read books. So we had a project where we. Use football as the mean, because we know that for boys, once we talk about football, you immediately grab their attention, right? So we use we so it depends on which team the child like might be Liverpool, it might be Manchester United. So once we we know the child's interest in it,、uh, the the football team, we then talk about what's the story, what's the history, what's the、uh, story of the the、um, the footballer that they like. And actually, all these information are in tons of paragraphs. But then, actually, the child is very happy to read all this information. And actually, after they read all this information, they are they are very happy because they realize that they know a lot more about the team that they care about. And so that's the first example. And the second one is that、um, I have a Romanian friend, and she has a lovely son. And her son actually have very good language skills, but again, the motivation in reading is is just not there. So, but he knows she knows that her child has a dream to get into MIT University. So she said to her boy that、mm, son is fine.、Um, there are many roads in life, right? And、um, I know that MIT they actually 
uh, asks a lot. So they ask a lot from the child. So you really need to, need to have very good language skills in order to get into MIT. But it's fine, you know, in life you have different roads and we don't need to take that route. We can take another route. But interestingly, once she say that to the child, her child just read tons of books. Within the two days, she, he, he just kept, he just keep reading because he really, but because he really has a dream to get into MIT University. So that's my suggestion for you. Try to think about the modi the interest of your child and the dream of your child and link that to whatever you want them to do. When you link the two of these things, then you will find a lot easier to motivate your child. Thank you and we will see you next time.